With Yosemite's 130th anniversary coming up on October 1st, now is a great time to highlight one of the park's biggest features. While there are many gigantic rock formations spread throughout America's national parks, one of the most well-known has to be Yosemite's Half Dome. This particular summit was of high interest in the late 1800s due to an 1865 report calling it the only one of the prominent points about the Yosemite, which has never been, and never will be, trodden by human foot. It's likely that that very sentence is what inspired George Anderson to make the treacherous journey just 10 years later. While today this hike is completed by thousands of visitors each year, Anderson had to complete the trek without the assistance of the modern-day cable system used to navigate the steepest points. In fact, during his 1875 ascent, Anderson drilled the very holes used to secure those cables today. It's safe to say Anderson's efforts pioneered the way for modern-day hikers. Today, visitors can gain outstanding views of Yosemite National Park as they make the 14-16 to 16 mile round trip to Half Dome Summit. If you plan on climbing Half Dome, it is important that you get an early start so that you don't get stranded on the side of the mountain after dark. The aforementioned cables allow visitors to negotiate the last 400 feet of the journey without any extra equipment, and are definitely something to be careful with. Once you reach the top, though, the view is definitely worth it. Thank you for watching our quick dive into the history of Yosemite's Half Dome. Make sure to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next time.